Welcome, everyone. This is the closing session of the IPFS thing 2022. Uh, we will be going really fast because we're the only thing starting be, standing between now and dinner. So we'll just go through a quick recap. We'll uh, do a retro. Uh, we'll get your feedback. We'll talk about scheduling for the future. We'll hear about the outings for tomorrow. We'll give some thanks. And then we will say goodbye. Uh, so great. Uh, this was an amazing week. Uh, this was an event put on uh, in a very, very short time span. So we will go through recap, retro, scheduling, outings, thanks, and goodbye. Uh, this was a very, uh, yeah, a very impromptu event. Uh, it happened very quickly. We decided to organize it and put it on in Lightning. Uh, speed uh, and you, you'll hear more about uh, all the people involved but just a, a, a huge thank you to everybody for just coming together and committing to like being here uh, and spending the week with us it was uh, really phenomenal I think already everybody um, is leaving with a ton of valuable uh, insights so thanks for spending the time uh, we did a ton we went through uh, many different sessions in diving into many areas of uh, the tech and many areas of, of different projects and work and so on, uh, we learned a ton. So we already recapped the whole thing. Uh, we had a ton of amazing sessions, um, lots of workshops, lots of presentations, lots of discussions, lots of um, deep dives into uh, different parts of the stack and made some really good decisions. Uh, and we also had a ton of fun. We enjoyed spending time with each other, meeting new people, uh, building relationships, um, and yeah, uh, we had a great uh, community building uh, moment. We also had the benefit of being in an epic place, which really, really helps with some epic um, adventures. Welcome to Iceland. And welcome to the Harpa. I want everybody in this room to build strong relationships and to advance IPFS implementations. So I would love to walk away with a plan for how IPFS is going to be faster and better than Web2 while doing all the really awesome things that we want to accomplish. I want to find collaborators, going to work on interop, I would like more hugs. And we should have a Cambrian explosion of implementation tools and systems and success. That bass is uh, super intense. The whole sh uh, stage is shaking. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, rough cut. So yeah, if you have any thoughts, uh, send, our, send them our way. Um, so I wanted to do a quick retro uh, with everyone together, because right now, your minds are remembering a lot of this week, and it is best to do it now, get it out of the way, get a bunch of feedback for future events. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to use our favorite friend, HackMD. And in it, we will all write that we really want to name an implementation banana, and then we will move on to the next thing. No, uh, we will talk about what we liked, what we lacked, and what we longed for, or you want to stop. So the stop word there is because we thought long for wasn't like clear no enough. So the word stop is there for you to feel comfortable uh, saying no. So we'll have a link, we'll post it on Slack. Uh, so I want to talk about scheduling pretty quickly for the rest of the year. So when I kicked off the, the conference, I said that I would ask you at the end of the week whether or not you want to have IPFS camp this year. The spot that it would be at would be right on top of Phil um, Lisbon and ETH Lisbon, and right before Web2 Summit, uh, otherwise known as Web Summit. Uh, and so there will be a ton of conference already, probably a lot of people here. Actually, raise your hand if you're going to Lisbon in that period. Yeah, some people, not, not everyone. I thought much larger participation. Cool. Well, um, if we were to host IPFS Camp this year, that's basically like the only slot that would make sense. There's some other possibilities later, but many groups have conflicts. Uh, raise your hand if you would want IPFS Camp to be hosted this year versus defer to next year. So raise your hand now if you want it this year. Can you tell me what IPFS Camp is? 
Yeah. So great question. So IPFS camp was what was originally meant to happen now, which is a, um, the last IPFS camp happened in 2019, right before, um, or it was before COVID. So it, it uh, was it really 2019? I thought it was, yeah, all right. Um, so we, a lot of us got together in Barcelona and we were um, in a space for a few days. Is there like a recap here? Yeah, there was like a recap posted. Um, anyway, there were, there were a lot of workshops and there was content prepared for those workshops. So it was oriented towards learning. Uh, so there, uh, a lot of folks prepared specific workshops to help onboard a lot of folks into the community. It was, it was a much broader um, uh, goal set. Uh, it, it was a much broader conference with a lot more people in, in uh, use, users of IPFS were kind of the primary target um, as opposed to implementers. Uh, it was a great conference where a lot of uh, teams met for the first time and relationships formed. Many teams came out of that and formed out of it. It was a, like a 300-person conference. Um, and this one was in, like, in a campus. Uh, so everyone uh, was in a campus and was uh, trapped there for three days. Uh, it was great. Um, yeah, a lot of folks came. Um, and doing lightning talks about their use cases, and then doing sci-fi fairs where you can like interact with them, and then some amount of workshops around, great, how do you use IRO in mobile and you know training and, and, and you know working directly with wider communities, and then also hopefully opportunities for like bigger, flashier presentations that then go out and build a lot of potential. So it's more like bigger community gathering. Yeah. yeah. So the, what you, what we would have this time would be a much larger conference where part of it would be about onboarding new users and part of it would be about giving presentations out to potential users. Um, and part of it would be uh, presentations and discussions and workshops from users themselves uh, about the tech and, and so on. Um, so I think in this case, it would probably be, we could probably, this would be on the order of like, Three to 500 people is probably what I think would happen if we organized it in October uh, around those dates, simply because there will already be a few thousand people in that area. Um, and yeah, uh, so I think it would be a good opportunity for anybody who's got an implementation or some system or service and wants like, to connect with their users or connect with more users. Uh, it can also be a great place to hire. So uh, if our groups that are hiring here would likely get um, candidates there. Do we have a uh, recap video of IPFS Camp? Oh, sweet, awesome. I am so excited to be here. Millions of people every single month are depending on the work you do. For you the relay protocol.
taking too long. <laughs> so IFS camp was really fun. Uh, we could have something like that. Where was it? So we'll definitely do it next year. Uh, however, if we want to have it this year, now's your chance to, uh, to say yes, let's do it. So raise your hand if you want it this year in October. Eh, about half the folks, cool. Uh, all right, great. So that's probably, that's, I think that's enough for like, let's do it. Uh, and a set of folks will, uh, if you change your mind, definitely let us know. Uh, we'll, we'll probably send out, out a, a, this question as a poll to other community members who are not, not here um, and base a decision on that, but I think it looks pretty positive. Uh, cool. So then, um, uh, Brennan and I were talking and we were thinking that it might be really valuable to have IPFS thing and camp six months apart. Uh, and so if we have a thing and then a camp every year um, and we orient this with like roughly thing in Q2 and Q, uh, camp in Q4, does that sound good? Yeah, <laughs> ship it. Is anyone greatly opposed to this? Great. Yeah, we can probably do that. Yeah, that, that is likely where it's going to end up. Um, yeah. Uh, cool. That sounds that sounds great. Now that doesn't prevent anyone from organizing and hosting other things uh, or other random events, um, including workshops, meetups, and whatever. So, in general, one of the common things that people have wanted in the past is local meetups and workshops. Um, there was a whole effort about starting those that kind of got shut down by COVID. So now that we're out of that, we can, or basically out of that, uh, we can kickstart that again. Um, raise your hand if you would be interested in having a local meetup in your region. Wow, that's awesome. Cool. Raise your hand if you would be able to help organize such a <laughs> local meetup. Awesome, that's great. Could we just get some names out? <laughs> um, can, we, can, you, um, can we maybe like uh, post a Slack thread and just say, are you interested in local, and just add your name to that thread if you, if you wanna do it, and then we'll follow up with you later on, and we will figure out ways of making it as easy for you as possible and connecting you with other people in the area to, to make the load easier. Uh, great. A bunch of folks talked about potentially having dedicated workshops on some areas. Uh, this came up in the content writing session. It can, came up in the um, IPVM session. I'm sure that it probably came up in, other, in others. Um, yeah, does this sound like a, should we kind of like make it easy for folks to start like organize like dedicated in-person workshops? either remote or in-person workshops around specific topics. Would this be like of interest in a lot of folks? Raise your hand if, if yes, you would be very interested in this. A few, got it, cool. It's good, good, good to know, good feedback. So uh, maybe less, less relevant or maybe ad hoc. If you feel like you need to, then at that point gather. Um, and of course you can always think of scheduling side events around these events. So you can always like schedule some side event next to camp or thing or whatever. And flag that there will be a ton of other community events, like Ethereum events, Falcon events, DWeb events, and so on. And if you want to host an IPFS event there and then, um, whether it's a workshop or a meetup or um, hack time or whatever, um, we can always do that. We just have to message it out for the community to know that it's happening. Uh, great. So we'll quick, quickly look at um, outings. Uh, so there's already been uh, a lot of folks uh, going to outings and they've been pretty fun. Um, tomorrow, I think we have four, the Golden Circle, um, the e-bike tour, Into the Volcano, and the Icelandic horseback riding. Uh, it, if you have not RSVP'd, I think there's, I don't know if there's still time, but you can try. Um, so this will probably, this will be really exciting. Um, and so, yeah, huge thank you to Uni and everybody involved in organizing these. So, yeah. <laughs> Which is a great segue for this whole section. Those outings. So, um, uh, Steve, can you?
you are doing e-bikes. Work on. Uh, I, anybody, I'm making sure that people go fall into the volcano. <laughs> Horses. Always. Oh, Golden Circle. That's me. All right. These people will get you there, and they will get you home. All right. Um, they all meet here in front of Park Bob. So meet here in the morning. Well, what is, is, is it a meet at, the, at that time? Is it the start time of that of that statement, or do they have to look in and get a different time? Yeah, could, could I ask the leader of each of these tracks to name, like, put yourselves on Slack? So right now, just make a, on the outings channel, start a thread for your outing track and say who you are and then say the, like, just remind people of the date, time at the bus, that the bus is going to leave. Thank you. Um, all right, so I want to I wanna thank a lot of folks. Uh, so starting with... Uh, track leads, uh, can, can you maybe stand up if you uh, ran a track? Thank you. You put in a ton of time and effort to um, enable all of us to actually have super high quality, valuable conversations, so uh, really appreciate the the um, all the energy you put into that. So uh, thank you for making the most out of out of this time together. Uh, oh yeah, hearts and applause now. There. Yeah. Uh, event staff. Uh, I want to thank um, everybody on this slide. Uh, Uni, uh, Brendan, um, Boris, Steve, Kelsey. Right. Uh, Ram Fox. There's no Ram Fox which is a great name. Um, thank you so much for uh, diving in to organize this. Uh, it was, has been tremendously helpful uh, to be able to put this on. It was a huge amount of work for a lot of folks, uh, and it took over your last few weeks. So thank you for, for doing this. Please stand up and come on stage to uh, just get recognized by the group. And do, do we have a uni anywhere here? Do we have uni anywhere here? Uni. OK. Thank you for uni. I messed up. <laughs> well, thank you. 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 Uh, and we Thank really, you. really appreciate uh, you pointing us in this amazing direction. Thank you. Thank you. I also want to thank the, all of the folks involved in staffing the event. So the AV, food, uh, the facility staff. Um, so many folks uh, were involved in uh, helping us uh, be here. So really a huge round of applause for uh, everybody here. Thank you. Uh, that's it. So now that you're standing up, uh, this is a good moment to exit the room and uh, go hang out. So thank you very much. This was a great week together. Really appreciate all of, all of you being here. Goodbye. <laughs>